I'm hip to the game. Old heads used to always tell me that high school was the easiest years of your life. They were 100% correct. Man, I second that. I, we all said we can't wait to grow up, and that's the stupidest shit we could have ever said. What's good, y'all? This is Kyle with BC, so you could probably guess who I am. In this video, we're going to be looking at something I've never seen before. Uh, like, I don't usually watch these kinds of cartoons, but it's called High as a Kite animated story i believe a youtuber made it but uh again we're gonna have that new editing style hope you like it get down there and subscribe to this channel man it's gonna help me out and it's not gonna hurt you and it's free but let's get straight into this video my life when I was around them I used to try my best to put on this illusion to make my parents think I was this innocent angelic child until I got to college so let me make one thing clear I ain't perfect none of us are the only perfect person walking with Jesus Christ I got my flaws just like you I don't sit at the top of Mount Zion with my nipples out with the staff of purity it just don't work like that shout out I make bad decisions and mess up just like everybody walking this planet now I'm gonna just throw into the air a lot of the bad decisions I made all my life were directly influenced by my environment I knew the consequences of making those bad decisions but I didn't care because I was what a follower message <laughs> nah but that's real spill the environment that you are around determines pretty much how you're going to turn out for the most part. Not always, not everybody. But this is a cool little video so far. You drink, I drink. You smoke, I smoke. You wrestle a lion, guess what? I'm finna be right behind you leaving because nigga, what do i look like dave the barbarian i'm still young which is really dope but before now my prerogative was to live my best life take risks and do whatever i wanted even though i was still mad cautious about doing certain things so i'd say really my experiences were more of a controlled living my best life overall i just wanted to be a kid as long as possible especially when i got to college because i knew bills and stress were my future trust me i'm hip to the game old heads used to always tell me that high school was the easiest years of your life they were a hundred percent correct man i second that I, we all said we can't wait to grow up and that's the stupidest shit we could have ever said stressful i'll tell you adulting is not fun well some of it is but most of it ain't so let me take y'all back to sophomore year of college literally the most experimental year of my college life at the start of sophomore year my squad and i already decided that freshman year was good but it wasn't good enough we wanted to make this year memorable and our first step at doing so was to go to every party every event and do everything we hesitated doing back in freshman year even add new friends to the squad if possible which we did now our squad didn't just consist of just guys we had females in our squad too but they weren't like the og squad so they'd show up to kick it with us whenever they felt like it they were actually all mad cool and fun to be around attractive not so much but at the center of them was this friend girl i enjoyed personally the most out of all of them and we still talk to this day to this day to this day we're gonna call her lily lily was the plug when it came to doing adventurous things everybody knew her when we wanted to go to a party she had the info and address of all of them on lock on campus and off campus when we needed a street pharmacist she had the connection with all of them whenever we needed somebody to trust our things with we left it with her and most notoriously when we wanted to try something new she made our dreams come true i've known this girl since freshman year and ever since we've grown to be great friends even to this day so that was a plus our friendship grew over time due to all the crazy things she and i did when we would hang out not around the squad and during that time the climax of our friendship happened when lily introduced me to edibles edibles are basically weed 
infused in the food. I'm gonna keep it a bug with y'all, all right? I always got high the regular way before she introduced me to this, and it always got me a little bit into the clouds, even with the loud, but little did I know, this high was another level of high. And he ain't playing. Man, A1 before, could not get up, was stuck, and then ended up falling asleep eventually, but eh, let's get back into the story. One day I'm chilling at the campus cafeteria, you know, sipping on some lemonade, minding my own business. Lily walks up, sits down at my table, and the first thing I noticed was that she had a plastic bag with five gummies and two brownies. And I'm like, is that all you gonna eat, my nigga? You know, five gummy worms and two brownies? You must got a sweet tooth or something. At first I thought she was gonna give me the RBF look, but she knew I never tried edibles before. So no, she gave me the biggest smile on her face and was like, no bro cuz, these aren't regular gummies and brownies. These are weed brownies. <laughs> Like I said before, I wanted to take risks that year and I heard edibles were 10 times stronger than getting high the regular way depending on what strand you take. And understand, getting high is not what people make it out to be, but don't go out doing it and be like, oh, Devontae told me to do it, he said it wasn't that bad. I, I didn't tell you nothing, okay? I'm just speaking on my experiences with it and giving my subjective opinion. I won't say much, but I actually thoroughly enjoyed getting high. Matter of fact, all sophomore year, I was a well-known connoisseur of the high. What'd you expect? It made me feel good. And it physically healed some wounds. Yes, it physically healed wounds. That's a story time for another day. But like I said, don't do drugs, kids. We leave our dorm room and we've already made an executive decision that we're gonna make this night a night we would remember. As you can see, this was most definitely a day I remembered because I'm, I'm doing a story time on it right now. See, the difference between getting high and getting drunk is when you're high, you know what you're doing and you're gonna remember some things, but when you're drunk, you, you might not remember something. We get to her dorm room and she hands me a brownie, a Rice Krispie, and four gummies. Understand, for beginners, or really just anybody, six edibles are way too much. And she told me that, but I didn't care because I ate all of them with every bone in my body. I knew I was a lunatic that day. Cause think about it like this, one or two is enough to get you high for three days. I ate six, think about it. If I knew how high I was gonna be that day, I still would've took it, I mean, <laughs> I was trying to. All right. And then it depends on the strength of the edible. Should some are not very strong, you can eat 10 of them and be cool. But if they're like hundreds of milligrams a piece, nah, you might want to break that first one in half and wait to see how you feel. But like he said, don't do drugs, kids. I leave her room waiting for it to kick in, then about 20 minutes after I left and I literally felt nothing. Not a bee sting, not a headache, not even a little buzz. I, I was kind of disappointed, you know what I'm saying? That's tough. But as soon as I was about to give up, the high hit me like an 18-wheeler. I was gone. I cannot make this up. Bruh, it literally felt like I was in a video game. The world started moving slower. My body weight was like two times heavier when I'd moved. The bird started a gang. It took me like 30 seconds to figure out what people were trying to say to me when usually it would take like a second. I literally was teleporting from place to place like Goku. Literally, I cannot make this up. I would black out every 10 seconds and teleport somewhere else. It's bro, I was gone. And just because I took six, this was not a regular high. I was higher than high. I'm talking about, I was playing cards with the sun and the moon. I was up there boxing with the universe. It physically and mentally felt like I was in another realm. However, the reason I like being this high was because I felt at peace. Because all the signs of bad emotions left my body and I literally was the happiest person on earth. I felt freaking great. Was it kind of dangerous? Yes. Did it make me extremely lazy? Yes. That was a cool little animation, I ain't gonna lie. But in regards to the last thing he was talking about, no negative feelings, he's lucky he don't got anxiety. 
or get paranoid real easy because I know a lot of people that do. And that gives the green a bad rap. But, yeah. Nice animation. Cool story. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please get down there and hit that subscribe button. It only takes a couple seconds. It's free. And it won't hurt you. And it helps me. I kind of rhyme. But, uh, yeah, until next time, y'all, take it easy.